How am I going to strategize this? Should I save building new floors until I... Uh... Until I'm on the brink of defeat? <laughs> but I do want to build a support one. Okay, I'm gonna summon goblins. And I'm gonna power them up immediately. Summon. Yeah. Two isn't enough floors. I'll make another offensive one. And bring in a goblin, power him up. That's the spirit. All right. Indeed, time to torment summon um, adventurers. Let's see how we do. Another trainee. I could use items once I actually gain items. So the Dark Tresser, I guess, nullifies damage to a monster. Okay, just gotta wait things out now. Some goblin, power up. Take care of them, goblin. Okay. We can five of them. Good. There we go. Right, that's like, I don't know goblins to things there. Oh no, two black mages. Same goblin. Power up, goblin. Black Mage just went straight for the third floor. Take care of that guy. Good. Got a chime, huh? The Mugo sidekick. Okay, I'm gonna need to place another floor. I'll do offensive. Summon Goblin, level him up. Come on, give him a whack, Goblin. Uh, the Goblins don't do a whole lot of damage to the Black Mages. What if I select Retreat? Do you want to retreat? Retry, karma is stored. Retreat, gain no karma. Four three back. We need black back up. Four three. Power up the goblin. Crystal, come on, take care of that guy. Cannot place more floors. No! Retreat! Retry. Karma is stored. Okay. Trying again. Oh, I can place more than one goblin on a floor. Wish I had no 
figured that out sooner. Remains the chime who is level seven. Let's see if the rest of these goblins and traps can take care of her, assuming it's a girl. Oh no. Goblin has been defeated. I'll summon another one and power it up. How do you like that, Chime? Ah, I didn't even get a chance to attack. Whatever. And that Chime is going to be defeated. Certainly by the next floor, if not this one. Alright. I won! But of course I won! <laughs> Monsters, a scorpion acquired. Alright. Good. Yes! Brilliant, princess! Well done, Mira. That's chime. No. Don't give me that. I just pounded you into a submission. I don't want any of that good sport junk from you. Oh, we'll settle this, believe me. In the full version of the game, that is. Ugh, who was that crazy lady? Tonberries, time for more punishment. <laughs> she punishes them. But why, princess? Princess? <laughs> I haven't told out. I haven't told out enough yet. That's why. Let's find some adventurers to crush. I need to blow off some steam. <laughs> yes, princess. Chapter two: A Taste of Tyranny. Am I really continuing? In the full... <laughs> what was that tease about the full game for then? Let me select this and uh, see what exactly happens. Um... Oh, I can finally expand my tower now. Um... Yes, I'll pay 50. You can now place up to 10 floors. Awesome. How much does it take to expand again? It takes 100. Don't have that much. Okay, I can't. So it looks like the scorpions are ranged. But I need 120 karma to upgrade upgrade them. 
Well, let's start. Let's see if this actually continues. Ready, do-getters? This will be fun! Scorpion, they're all yours! So, let's see how the scorpion does. Well, maybe there'll be another chance. Not with this guy, though. He's too weak. Okay, now I'll get to see what the scorpion does. Oh, wow. Nasty. Let's summon a scorpion onto this floor. And I'll power up this goblin. Can't power up the scorpions yet. Uh oh. Sounds like a. Oh, two black mages. Princess, we have little NP left. Alright. Duly noted. Some NP left now. I'll summon a scorpion for there. Two trainees. The most, th <laughs> the most threatening aspect of all of the uh, adventures is how. When they come in droves, they can just skip over floors that already have a, an adventurer battling amongst amongst the enemies there. And I can't let them get to the top. That uh, goblin hasn't been powered up yet. Too bad powering it up doesn't restore its health. I think I'll place a new floor, a support with two goblins. I like to vary things up. Goblin to replace the fallen one. I can. I have enough MP to at least power him up. Get a taste of scorpion, black mage. I won! But of course I won! Yeah, that was easier than I expected. The scorpion led us defeat those black mages with the greatest of ease! Monsters with ranged attacks can deal major damage to black mages and other magic enemies. Oh, so that's how it works. 
Monsters and adventurers are divided into five types based on their attack style. Each type is powerful against one type and weak against another. Think carefully about types when placing your monsters, princess. So, melee units are strong against ranged units. Ranged units are strong against magic units. Magic units are strong against melee units. Generic units deal regular damage to all the unit types. Healer units specialize in healing and will never attack. Pitting similar unit types against each other limits your potential for dealing major damage. Okay. Next. I can upgrade my scorpions. And I can't do anything else, so let's start. Yep. Oh, <laughs> almost forgot. Of course, I need to uh, build the towers. Summon some monsters. I'll start with the melee guys. all my NP. Time to sit back and watch the sparks fly. <laughs> Playtime's over. You ready for this? Is there a way this can be sped up? is so exhilarating. Keep it up, everybody. But Princess, this is where the demo version ends. No. Who are you? Hey, what about me? I haven't shown up yet. No. Who are you? Oh, do you want to know? <laughs> no, forget it. Never mind. I'll just look you up in the strategy guide. <laughs> <laughs> I'd better find a strategy guide, too. Then I'll know how to beat you in the full version. <laughs> ha! Don't bother trying. I'll be too busy pillaging, ravaging, and otherwise laying waste to, your, er, to the world to deal with you. Thank you for trying out the demo. The full game is available for purchase in the Wii Shop channel. <laughs> Bias! Please! Okay, off to the Wii Shop channel we go. Okay, Final Fantasy... So it goes Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles My Life as a Dark Lord. Costs 1,000 Wii points. Nintendo Wi-Fi enabled. I wonder how that works. Rated E10+, plus for mild fantasy violence and mild suggestive themes. Compatible controllers, just the Wii remote. Okay, more details. 
Step into the royal shoes of the Dark Lord's daughter as she installs traps and monsters inside her tower to fight back the endless waves of invading adventurers in this world conquest RPG. Placing the floors inside your demonic tower with the monsters and traps called artifacts is your only hope to keep the adventurers from destroying the dark crystal on the top floor. Fly your tower across the land and conquer every stage on your way to dominating the entire world. Okay. Well, this seems quite um, engaging. Um, kind of kind of drags on a bit, not leaves not much room for commentary, but uh, I'm sure those who are interested in a game like this don't care about that. But where does the Wi-Fi come in? Ah, uh, whatever. It can't be that important if it wasn't even mentioned on more details. Anyway, that's been My Life as a Dark Lord. Strikes me as a pretty decent game, given the price. Ten dollars. So, I'll be moving on to my next WiiWare demonstration, and I'll see you all next time. Until then.